So you guys, we're going to jump right into the video. Um, in this video, we're going to be talking about the praying mantis and what it means when you see one or you come across one. I was walking on the trail. Oh, it was yeah. just me and Sunny Boy, and he loves to go across the bridge part. And I was standing right there, and I noticed something green moving. And come to find out, I'm like, this is a praying mantis. I ain't seen one of these things in years. So I thought it would be really cool to make a video on what it means. And a lot of the reason behind seeing one, you guys, is uh, let's start with number one, which is the color alone. The color green, it is the same color as the earth. So it becomes one with nature. It becomes one with the earth. And it is very, um, it brings harmony and stillness and calmness. So basically, it's trying to tell you that when you do see one, it could be implying that, shh, you need to imply employ some type of you need to have some type of stillness in order to visualize whatever you want your desired outcome to be so just like you see the praying mantis um, he's very still he's very calm he could be very harmonious and um, he could hypnotize you with just the movements alone it's kind of the same thing God wants us source wants us to become one with him so that we can have that stillness and that peace of mind that we need because when you're being still you quiet your mind and you're able to hear the voice within you your higher self which is then going to lead you into the path of least resistance so it's oftentimes a reminder to quiet your mind declutter yourself and be still Praying mantises are also a sign of good fortune and good luck. Whether it be in big or small, however you want to look at it, you're going to be having good luck. Especially if one lands on you, period. One didn't land on me, I just saw it. And he was looking directly at me like his head went like this. I kid you not, I recorded it. I hope y'all can see it. So, But... It is definitely a symbol of good fortune on its way to you. So um, whatever you're facing, whatever you're going through, you kind of down it out and then you, you're walking and then all of, a sudden, all of a sudden you see a praying mantis, it's going to be a good sign that you don't have to worry anymore. You've got good fortune coming your way. Keep your head up and keep moving. Forward progress is the goal. So another one of the things that I really don't like is um, the patience part of it. So it could also be trying to tell you that you need to be more patient, um, especially if you have some type of creative idea coming or something like that. You're not going to be able to receive these insights through your intuition if you're too busy having a crazy cluttered mind. I got to do this. I got to run errands. I'm supposed to stop here. I got to go there. I need to do this. I need to do that. Right. And then source is trying to talk to you like, I sent you a message and you still ain't listening. So it's like they send certain bugs to you, certain insects, certain birds, whatever it may be, angel numbers to get your attention, to let you know to pay attention. And so as you know, everything that um, um, Praying Mantis symbolizes is peace, stillness, harmony, calmness, awareness, all just to focus and have your attention on one thing because they're trying to tell you that you got too much going on right now girl you need to like declutter your mind sit still and be patient and when you're being patient and your mind is quiet and you're still you can get whatever it is that you're trying to achieve better because your mind is at peace you are still you are one and when you're quiet you can hear your intuition better because we know our intuition whispers like Versus your ego is like, girl, don't be going over there. You don't need to be giving him his stuff today. In order to tap into your intuition, you have to sit and be quiet and you have to declutter your thoughts. Figure which thoughts are yours and which thoughts are the thoughts of your ego. And once you do that, you're able to hone in. You're able to visualize better. And when you're visualized better, you're creating peace in a tranquil environment. And you're sending a message to the universe. And that message will be received a lot more better and a lot clearer when you are quiet. So a lot of the times that could be a symbol of you needing to just get back in balance, tap more into yourself, go within more, and just try to do a better job of laser focus on whatever that dream is, whatever that passion is. This is the time to do it, but you have to have patience because they're working behind the scenes with you. So patience is a virtue. 
you got to be patient if you want to receive all the blessings that you're supposed to be getting right now. You can't rush the process. Trust the process and ride the wave. Another cool thing is it also symbolizes healing in the mind, the body, and the spirit. So again, when I was telling you guys, meditation is really great for that, yoga, anything where you're making your mind focus on a part of your body. So like exercising too. So if you're gonna be doing like your arms, you wanna think about the muscle that you're trying to target and then like feel it, pump, pump. You can't just do this and you're not thinking about it. You gotta put your mind to the muscle. So it is a lot about action oriented, you know, goals and desires. You got goals, but are you working to, towards them? Are you putting it actually into action or are you actually thinking about it? So it also has that uh, meaning as well. You wanna think about if you're actually working towards something or if you've been kind of sitting and being a little bit lazy. Are you working towards bringing this thing into fruition? Some of the things that could be that could be told about you through the praying mantis, about you specifically, is that if you're seeing one or something like that, or if you feel you resonate with one, um, it could mean that you have a very peaceful, positive nature. You know, you're very calm, like a laid back person. You're very chill. Um, you're the master of your life. You understand that you can think something and that's the direction that your life will go into and that you are not easily wavered by different things coming at you and trying to throw themselves at you, you know? You are solid, you are strong mentally, and you just don't like any drama. So you pretty much take your time in everything that you do. You're pretty, you know, you're not a person to rush, but you believe in taking your time. Nothing's wrong with that. I like to take my time too. So you guys, if you feel like you need to call on the um, praying mantis spirit, if you want to say, um, which some people do that, I personally don't do that, but this is just an option for those of you who are, you know, a little bit more open-minded in that area. Um, if you need like, well, you can call on the praying mantis spirit animal. If you feel like you need more peace in your life, you kind of just need answers, you want to declutter your mind a little bit better, or you know you feel like you just you got a lot going on you just want to be still you want to have some harmony and balance then call on your praying mantis spirit animal and it will definitely help a lot with that and um, I just really wanted to make this video for you guys because there were so many cool things that I never really knew about the praying mantis um, for instance like let me share this negative trait with you that they do have so remember I told you that the color green they like to blend in with the environment right they're trying to hide from their prey um, which is a natural instinct that they do but that can also be detrimental because they're waiting until the enemy goes by but if you think about it in life you can't just blend in and hide from the enemy you got to face the enemy you got to go at that enemy with everything that you have and you got to have faith that you will come out on top you are victorious you do got this battle and this this thing this enemy ain't got no power over you God gave us what dominion and authority period over everything that walks this earth so that can be like a, a little natural thing that you know they do that is kind of detrimental for them because if you think about it we can't just hide ourselves from things in life that we don't want to accept eventually it's going to come back around again and we're going to have to face it and it's going to keep coming around until you face it so when do you just want to get it out the way right then and there i mean it just makes sense so you guys, it's been a pleasure talking to you today so much. I really hope that you guys found this video cool just as much as I did. Coming out, I will have videos on um, the meaning of woodpeckers and because um, one of my subscribers did ask me to do that and I'm still getting around all these videos, guys. So thank you for your patience. Um, but I will have some other cool videos and meanings out of different animals that I've been coming across. Um, I do mostly like to make videos about things that I'm experiencing in my life because it makes it more easier and I'm definitely more interested. Um, so what I do is I get animals out the way that I've personally seen and I share them with you guys, if that makes sense. So I just want to thank you guys for your patience. Have a wonderful, amazing, prosperous, abundant week. And I'm wishing you guys nothing but miracles and positivity this entire month of September. I love you guys so much and I hope you have an amazing rest of your week. Mwah.